Hey, uh, welcome to another tutorial from uh, WordPress Page Builders Academy. Uh, we have an extensive library of tutorials for uh, all the top WordPress page builders. So be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you, you see them when they come out. Okay, now on to today's tutorial. Hey, today we will be diving into designing a nice search page with a uh, bricks builder. In this video, we'll, uh, we will be designing a search page with for a bunch of uh, recipes on, a, uh, on our site. So in Bricks, there are two types of search elements. Uh, one is just named search and the other one is named search filter. We will be using the latter as it gives us a lot more options, including live search, uh, displaying search results on the same page and filtering our search results to really display what we want in terms of taxonomy, or the type of uh, content we want. In order to use uh, the search filter for search queries, you will have to enable it. Uh, to enable it, you go to the WordPress admin dashboard, and then you go to bricks, then settings, then query filters, you enable it. But once you've done that, uh, let's start. Um, so first, Let's uh, go to your dashboard again and navigate to a page to create the search page. Uh, you want your search page to be a page and not a post. Um, so if you uh, want to create a new page for it, just go ahead and name it and then save it or publish it right now if you want. And then go to the bricks editor. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is add a section. Uh, then click on the container. This container will be used to display the search results. Um, in this container, you activate the query loop by toggling the switch to enable the query control. This control allows access to the database to specify the data retrieval criteria. So what we just did was enable this container to dynamically display our search queries on the same page as our search bar. Let's adjust our query settings. Uh, keep the default settings or customize them however you want. Um, but in this example we are doing, we will filter the search page to only show posts and not page. Okay. And then uh, instead of just displaying the latest 10 posts, let's just set it to three or five posts. Then you add a loop item. So inside the loop items, add elements such as post title to render the content vertically stacked. Um, then you set the layout, right? So include two containers for a two column layout. Position the title in the right side container. Adjust containers to display horizontally for side by side alignment. Uh, use dynamic data elements to retrieve information from the database. Example, you can re replace static content with the post date and the author. Uh, so for styling adjustments, uh, set the feature image as a background image for a container. Uh, define specific dimensions such as height, um, like 240 pixels or however, depending on your design. Add a margin bottom for spacing between the results. Apply padding for alignment and visual balance. Fix the alignment to the center. Uh, uh, add an excerpt next to the basic text element. Click the post title again to customize its size and font. Do the same for the basic text and excerpt element. You can modify the color of the date and the author. Um, I'm going to add a margin for the top and bottom. Go to the main container and add a box shadow. Again, this is all design preferences. So you can design your search page however you want. So this is just an example um, for our recipe search page. So 
also optional was the pagination setup. Uh, I think um, it's a nice touch to the search um, page. So I'm just gonna add pagination element for navigation through the results. Then I'm going to add the main container and edit the name of my container. After that, link pagination to the, design, uh, to the designated um, query for seamless browsing. Save it and reload to the pa oh, reload to see the pagination. Now let's add a heading and a search filter element. You see that there are all kinds of filters here, including radio boxes, range filters, checkbox filters, etc. But for the purposes of this video, we'll only be using the regular search filter element. So once you move that onto your canvas, right? Uh, you set the tart query, which is the container that we just designed. Uh, so uh, this can be set to any element on the page where you turned on query loop. This lets the filter know which query the filter applies to. Since we are displaying the query in this uh, container below, we will just choose a container as the target query. Uh, assign a specific query identifier like post category, tag, custom, taxonomy um, that this filter will affect. In the apply on, choose input and then add a placeholder and you choose that into dynamic data. Uh, okay, so once you're done doing all that, um, we're saving preview. Um, to ensure that the search filter works the way you want and the search page works the way you want. So now if you want to conf configure the post per page, uh, you would um, have the flexibility to control how many posts appear on the page in the front end. This uh, setting ensures that uh, users can view a manageable number of posts at once, enhancing the user experience and, of course, the site performance, right? Then I'm going to do one last piece of editing here by adding uh, the food recipes heading up here. So anyway, that is uh, a simple overview of how to design a basic, but you know, good looking search page uh, in Bricks Builder. Uh, we'll have another video touching advanced search filter options in Bricks Builder in the future. So be on the lookout for that, okay? All right, so if you appreciated this video, give us a thumbs up uh, and uh, we will see you in the next video, all right? Thank you.